Want to learn Spring Boot fast? Great, you're in the right place. In this Spring Boot course, you'll learn how to create a REST API with Spring Boot from start to finish. Not just coding, but from project setup through to deployment. Follow along for a brief description of all the modules in this course and the content of each module. These are the modules. Project Setup, Design, Implementation with Unit Testing and Integration Testing, and Deployment. Let's take a closer look at each module. Project Setup. So here I show you two different methods of setting up the project. You could choose to use either one depending on your preference. This module is a part of the free preview, so if you sign up for the free trial, you could check this out. So this module consists of two lessons. Lesson 1. Set up the project using Spring Initializer. In this lesson, we look at how to use the Spring Initializer to create a project, Spring Starter Dependencies, and then the generated build file. Lesson 2. Set up the project using Gradle without Spring Initializer. In this lesson, we generate a Java project using Gradle command line. Then work on the build file to add the required plugins and dependencies. Discuss co-Gradle plugins, community plugins, and the Gradle plugins portal. And then we generate the Eclipse configuration files to import the project to Eclipse. The next module is Design. This module is consolidated into one lesson. In this entire course, we are creating a REST API which would save, retrieve, and delete comments of blog posts. Check out the introduction module for the list of requirements of the API. So in this design lesson, we discuss what is REST, some basic REST API design principles, and then design the comments API, and also we look at the application architecture of a Spring Boot project. The next module is testing and implementation. This module consists of several lessons on unit testing, implementation, and also integration testing, the API. The first lesson of testing and implementation. Endpoint implementation to retrieve comments, part 1, which is the implementation of the controller. In this lesson, we implement a method to return all comments of a particular post in a test-first manner. That means, as in all of the implementations throughout the project, we write unit tests before writing a single line of logic. The next lesson is part 2, which is the implementation of the service. Here we move the business logic to the service layer by refactoring the controller and unit tests. So in the next lesson, which is part 3, we move on to the repository layer and discuss Spring Data and how to use the repository interfaces. Next is integration testing. So here we write the first integration tests and discuss mock MEC, Spring's testing support and annotations, request builders, request matches, and so on. The next lesson is making a Spring Boot application. This lesson is also a part of the free preview, so if you sign up for the free trial, you could check this out. Here we discuss the Spring Boot annotations and then add all the required annotations to wire everything up and make the application work. The next lesson is Spring Transaction Handling. In this lesson, we discuss the following. What does transactional mean in terms of executing a method? Overview of how Spring Transaction Management works. A transactional annotation and its settings. How to apply transaction management with transactional annotation. How read-only applies to transactions. And some transaction configuration settings. Next lesson. Integration Testing Part 2. Here we continue the integration testing using JSON path expressions to assert the response body and then preloading and cleaning up the database before and after a test using script files and annotations. And we also learn how to return relevant response codes upon exceptions. Next lesson, endpoint implementation to save a comment. Unit tests and implementation of the endpoint for saving a comment. Then integration testing part 3 where we write some integration tests for saving the comment. End-to-end -end test. And here we run the application in Eclipse, save a comment via Postman and retrieve the saved comment in browser. 
Next lesson is endpoint implementation to delete a comment. Here we write unit tests and implement the endpoint for deleting a comment. And we also discuss physical delete versus logical delete. In the next lesson, we continue integration testing, writing some integration tests for deleting comments. The next module is deployment. Here we look at various ways of running the application and then war deployments to an external server. And then we connect our application to MySQL server instead of the embedded database. And then we look at how to use the embedded database for integration testing while using an external database for production.